everyone, it's Dawn. I'm back again with our A to Z of Christmas. And today we are on the letter P, and P is for poinsettia card. Now when we've finished our card, it will look something like that. But there's a couple of steps we need to take before we get it that far. So I'm going to pop that over there, just for the time being. And, and that one, I'm going to pop them over there. This is, this is a 5x7 card. It's a white card. And I've just put a 5x7 gold mat on the front just to start it off. And then you'll see how we build it up. I've actually used an embossing folder for this, so which you probably can't see terribly well because it's white. And the weather, well, not the weather so much, but the light is awful today. It's thick fog outside and even with all the lights on in the studio, it still looks a bit dark so and a bit shadowy. But we're going to do our best to cheer ourselves up with a nice bright poinsettia card. So to begin with, what I've done, I needed to take, or I wanted to take this white off and it will also show up the, show up the pattern and the picture. So I'm going to use a bit of gold paste, gold glitter paste, and I'm just going to rub it over like that. And as if by magic, the pattern appears. Isn't that fun? And it looks like I need to get myself some more gold glitter paste. That's all right, that goes me, that's my list. If you heard that noise, it's nothing to worry about. It's just the book that I've got my list in for my videos. <laughs> it's just fallen onto the floor. But never mind, it's only a book. Well, we'll deal with that later, that's no big deal. As one of my American friends says, it's no biggie. <laughs> so what we will do, we will just very quickly go over that with some gold glitter paste, just to give it a lift, and you can see the pattern coming through. Now I won't do the whole of the colouring because that does take quite a long time. So I'll show you how we start off the colouring. I started off with the leaves. Now with these leaves here, it's all right, I'm just making sure I don't put my finger in or put my arm into some stuff I've got with sticky pads on it. So with these leaves, all I did was I went over the stem like that. So, and then I just went over the raised part, the embossed part. I just went round there. If you go slightly over it doesn't matter because it'll look like a shadow. And then I coloured it in like that. These are just alcohol markers. Nothing special, but they work. Well at the moment they do anyway. So we're going to carry on. You can you don't have to use alcohol markers. You can use your pencils, you can use any type of you can use ordinary felt pens if you want to. But any type of colouring device that you've got will be absolutely fine. You can even use paints if you're feeling ambitious. And to colour these bits here, these little buds. So again, we just go over the raised part. You could use the deboss side if you wanted to, but I've chosen to use the emboss side, the bit that sticks up. And then what we need to do is we just use a red one. I'm presuming that they're red berries. They are now. And you just colour inside. And again, these jaggedy bits behind the poinsettia, their leaves. We won't do all of them, we'll just do one, we'll do one leaf and one section of a poinsettia, just to show how we build this up. And so we just colour it over. Once you've gone round the outside, just fill it in. So we're really just, at its most basic, we're going round the outline and then filling it in in the middle. So nothing too complicated. So we're going to do that and then we would use obviously a red if it's a poinsettia, but it says Merry Christmas. So we sort of, I was going to say you could use this for anything, but the embossed part actually says Merry Christmas. So we're sort of stuck with it for a Christmas card. You could, if you wanted to, put something over it as long as it covers the Merry Christmas, colour them in a different colour and use it for a different occasion. But that might be sort of stretching it a bit today. So today we will stick with it as we're doing a Christmas A to Z, we will stick with it as a Christmas card. So we will do that. So you do that all the way around. I'll just do one leaf or one petal, I should say. And the bit in the middle, all I've done, these little berries or seeds in the middle, I think they're seeds. I just used a bright yellow and just coloured within. And the Merry Christmas, I used a metallic, I think it's a bronze. Can't remember. Yeah, I think it's a bronze, this one. It's a, I, so I just went over. I'll just do one letter. Maybe we'll do the merry, see how, much, see how much time we've got. So all I did was I went over it with a metallic pen. I used my, this is an alcohol pen, but you can use a Sharpie pen if you want to. 
So we'll just go over the merry part. So we just go over all the raised bits. Now, if you're using the debossed side, the bits that sink in, you don't, obviously you'd have to emboss it on the other side, turn it the other way around. This might be a little bit easier because you can just color within the dips rather than having to go round the raised parts, but that's okay. Whatever feels comfortable. You may not have this particular embossing folder, although I'm sure some probably do. It came in one of the magazines. Um, but anything will do, any point at your image will do, and you carry on doing that until you've finished it. And when you've done all of your card, it will look like that. So we'll leave that there for now. So now what we're going to do is we are actually going to attach it to our card base, which has already got a gold mat on it. And I've got some foam tape on the back, which is supposed to be easy peel. So let's hope it lives up to its reputation. So we'll just take that off. The reason I didn't take it off before is because it was laying face up and I didn't want it to stick to the table. There's always one bit that decides to be awkward. Oh, there we go, we're okay. So we'll turn that over. I'm just going to bring that a little bit closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. And hopefully we'll get it roughly in the centre. So yeah, I think that's good enough. It might not be perfect, but it's not, it's not far off actually. So there we go, there, it, there we are. We have not finished yet, don't disappear on me yet. Because what I've done, I wanted to just add it a little bit more embellishment. So what I've done is I've embossed another folder exactly the same way, but I've just cut out and coloured one of the poinsettias, this one that stands forward. And this time I've got half of a foam pad on the back. So I'm just going to take that off. Now you could offset it if you want to. So you could offset it like that, but this one isn't offset. So I'm going to just go with it and lay it, layer it like that. And so there is our poinsettia card, but I haven't quite finished yet. I decided that the corners needed something, but they can't be too big because if you put any large embellishments, it covers up the Merry Christmas. So what I've done, I'll well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll show you what I'll do. I've made some tiny mini poinsettias, if you like. And I'm just going to put, I've, I've made eight, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in the corners of our, our card. I'm going to put two in each corner. Then I'm going to very quickly, because it's so easy, I'm going to show you how I made them. So our little mini poinsettias. You can do this for any mini card or any mini flower. Just use it in the flower or the colour that your flower would be. Obviously these are poinsettias, so they're red. I'm not sure if you can get them in any other colours. I've never seen them in any other colours, but that doesn't mean that they don't grow in other colours. So we are going to put them, we're going to assume that they're red and we're going to put them there. So I'm just going to very quickly show you how I made my poinsettia, my mini poinsettia flowers. So we don't, well, actually we do need a colour. We need this gold one here. Well, let, I think it's bronze, but let's call it gold. So what we did, I used a paper punch and I punched two poinsettias from a red card, just an ordinary red card stock. And these are the stars that I punched out. And then what I did, I'll tell you what we're going to do so that you can see what I'm doing because the light is absolutely awful. I'm going to bring you in a bit so that you can have a closer look and then we'll zoom out again and see the finished card. So I used, all I used was some red runner tape. You, glue would be a bit difficult because you need such a small spot. It would be quite difficult to not make a mess. So, but if you, if you want to risk making a mess, or if you're very good with glue, or better than I am with glue anyway. And then all I did was I offset them. Instead of lining the points up, I offset them. So I put a point between a gap, like that. Stuck them down. Then all I did was I took my my pen, my metallic pen, and just painted three dots like that. And there is our little poinsettia. So I'll bring the card back. Oh, let's zoom out a little bit. Just a little bit, that'll do. So there you go, guys. That is our P. Oh, I'll go out a little bit further. Just a little bit, that'll do. So there we go. There is our P for poinsettia card. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you're just drifting by, we are in the middle of an A to Z of Christmas and you're enjoying this project, please do hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you'll always be informed 
when I upload a new video. And at the moment, we're uploading videos every day to get through this series in time to make the projects for Christmas. So tomorrow I will be back with a letter Q. And several people have said, what can you do for Q for Christmas? Someone has said, uh, is it going to be a queen? It isn't going to be a queen. I did think of that, but I was going to do the Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven, but I know that could be, I understand that could be offensive to some. So we're not going to do that because we don't want to be offensive. And so I thought of something else for Q. So pop back tomorrow and find out what I've come up with. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Do take care, everybody, especially if the weather outside is as thick and as dense as it is here in the UK. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.